Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. Every now and again, I have a video that I'm really excited to film, and this is one of them. You can see this is just simply a plastic lid with a half kilo weight in there. Um, and this is essentially a Euler's disc. It doesn't work quite as good as the properly machined and made ones, but it works pretty well, and so that's what I'm going to show you today. I also have another version, another like prototype of an Euler's disc that I won't be spinning on the glass, I'll be spinning it on a wooden board over here just because it might scratch up this mirror because this is actually from our bathroom. But anyway, let's show you how this thing runs. If I just give it a light spin. That was a good spin. Let's see if I can go a bit harder. There's just something about that that is really, really cool. Like, the sound is so, like, it comes off a bit strange on the camera, but here in person, the sound is actually quite satisfying. So I find that really, really awesome. But also, how exactly does an Euler's disc work? Take, for instance, a coin. Anyone's done this. You get a coin, you spin it on a surface, and, you know, it, it eventually stops. <clears throat> This um, Euler's disc is essentially a larger, more dense coin. Now, for a properly machined Euler's disc, the base of it will be very, there'll be a very tight corner there. So as you spin it, there's n hardly any friction acting upon it. Um, and as the, well this is actually not spinning or rolling, it's actually spooling um, as it's cold. And so as it keeps spooling on and loses energy, uh, the frequency actually increases, which is really interesting and awesome at the same time. But some people would wonder, like, where it gets its energy. I hardly did anything to that, and look at it go. It just keeps spalling. You can see how the frequency increases as it starts losing energy. And then it comes to a stop. So, where this gets its energy is from gravity. You see, as I spin it, as it's up like that, you know, it rolls around, um, the center of mass is actually higher, so there's a lot of gravitational potential energy. And as it gets lower, that gravitational potential energy gets turned into kinetic energy, so it keeps it spinning. And because of the low friction, not much energy is lost from friction, so it spins for a long time. So that's essentially how it works. I'm now going to show you my other design, which is a glass one with just some little weights blue tacked in. And you can see here, I'm going to be spinning it on this edge because it's very flat and so there won't be much friction on that. Except I'm not going to spin it on the glass here on the mirror because it'll scratch it. I'm going to take it over here to this white board. Okay, so are you ready? Here we go. So you can see that as, as it started losing energy, the frequency increased. That is really awesome. But anyway, I... Sure, hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.